everyone says LA band, but you're not. Some of you, some of you grew up. You grew up in Oregon. Yeah, right? Teresa and I grew up uh -huh. in Eugene. We uh -huh. met when we were in middle school. So that's sort of the beginnings. That's that's our beginnings. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we all we Emily and I started with Jen and her sister, uh -huh. and we played and. That the story is that that was on Valentine's Day. That's our anniversary. Yeah, we played it's not just a story. We worked really well together instantly, you know? It just felt right. And and then and a, what? Lot, a lot of and things happened. And we moved in and together. together. And <laughs> 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 exactly, that's hey. the abridged version. Nice uh -huh. um, well, for Jenny, for people who don't know, Shannon Sossman mm -hmm. is your sister. and she. How, so how long was she playing with you guys? Two years. Okay. Wait. It was about two years first, and then she quit the band, and then we all kind of broke up for about a year, and then and this maybe because she was uh, her other she stuff was, took yeah, off. She yeah, she was just she didn't have time, and she also right. has a son too. So it was just like this was this was everybody's main focus and main project, and she was just kind of I think spread a little too thin, mm -hmm. and wanted to focus on those other two things. <clears throat> um, then we made the EP with her. Yeah, then yeah, we, we made the EP too. with her. But we got back so together. So she did basically. play on the EP. Mm -hmm. She played it, yeah, on three of the yeah. songs. That's her, yeah. Okay. Well, the the pre-Stell, the drummer situation's been, you might say, a little fluid over the years. Yeah. Underwater. Right? Huh? Yeah, underwater. And exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, there was David. Was Dave there? Orlando. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then Josh Klinghoffer for a bit. And then Quinn, um, Quinn went on, I don't know his last name. He went on oh, tour Michael with us. Quinn. I wasn't even aware of him. I knew Josh and, 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 and Dave. But Quinn went on the tour. We hired him last, mm -hmm. oh. last tour. Okay. This. Was it important that it get back to being four women? Mm. Or was that never really an issue? It seems like it now. Yeah, now it feels... Now it makes sense that why we were kept breaking up with our boyfriend. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't, yeah, something just wasn't. We and you mean that in the band sense? The no, we were all going yes. out with him. Well, oh. yeah, 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 really? yeah, yeah. It's like a cult. It's really weird. <laughs> we're Mormon. Oh, okay. Uh, Works. Okay. Um, well, these guys had stamina, chill. apparently. I, and by the way, I met, <laughs> I met Stella at a Metallica concert. That's right. Really? Yeah, that's the story. So when and where was that and how? And oh, where was that? The Wilton? The yeah, it was a small show. It was a benefit for the Silver Lake Conservatory of Music. How long ago? Oh, Last year. Last year sometime. No. No, two years, ago. two years ago. No way. Yeah, way. Hang on. Yeah, that was it. And then we just saw each other at coffee houses. And two didn't even around. talk initially about working together, or no? One of our friends was like, "You can't steal Stella from us." <laughs> so, oh, so she you, was off limits for a minute. So you were in a band at the time. I was playing with different artists uh -huh. and, and and touring with lots of different artists. How long had you been in LA? Because you. Had I been like in LA? You don't sound like you're from. I haven't LA. got the twang yet. <laughs> okay. I'm trying. Yeah. I'm really trying. These girls are training me. Yeah. Um, I moved there initially in April 2008, and mm -hmm. I think I met you shortly after that. Right. Yeah. And then the as far I mean, was she the one of your initial thoughts as far as the drummer? I, just, I mean, I wasn't getting my hopes up for a long time. I think we all really knew that it would be really amazing, but just waiting till it till it happened naturally. Mm -hmm. But we, we just knew that she was incredible, you know. We all saw her play. We all played a show at um, Troubadour. Mm -hmm. She was playing with Flea and John and Josh. And that's the first time I saw her play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I was pretty blown away. And then that thought kind of floated around for a little while. Yeah, she was this doing an Aphex taxi? Twin cover. Oh. No, it that's was just pretty an incredible. improv. Why don't you wow. talk we were. We, no, we did do a, an Aphex Twin But he said a taxi, yeah. I said, was this with the taxi that you were playing? No, uh, no. No, so just like just a, it was a one-off thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. It was lots of fun. And these uh -huh. girls played with us, as well as a band called Wave. We really oh, yeah. as well. Uh -huh. And, um, yeah, that's the first time I met... That's the first time I met Jen. And I think I went to Coachella with you. Hey. But we didn't speak to each other. <laughs> you just ate snacks in the back seat on the way. You just drank oh, yeah, kombucha. We I just thought you were a mega hippie. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we did talk. Maybe. We did. We'll talk we had fun, later. actually. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we actually we'll had a great time, yeah. and we laughed a lot. I don't yeah. know what you're talking about. Yeah. Okay, I don't yeah. I have And I was eating snacks. Speaking of you, you guys were have, eating snacks. That's do you guys have festivals on your, on your schedule for this year? Lollapalooza yeah. and Bonnaroo. Nice, nice. And 
The what Great Escape. I'm just kidding. Um, I guess it's like a South by Southwest <laughs> in England. Mm -hmm. I'm not yeah, sure. yeah. That's it so far. So, g just getting to finish up how, how Stella sort of joined the ranks, was there an official offer at one point, or did you audition people, or? We just asked her if she wanted to play with us, and we basically, we played. You called me from CMJ. Hey, that's right, I called her <laughs> so. from CMJ, and it was like, all right. She was on tour, we were both on tour. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I did, <didn't. laughs> It's a bit aggressive. <laughs> um, yeah, basically just said, I wanna, we want to play with you, let's play when we get home. We played a few times, um, then we played two shows, and she went to Australia, and she came home, and we started recording a record. Yeah. So we really dived in there. So you've been on the whole full length as far mm -hmm. up to this yes. point, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thus far. Oh, she is getting a quarter of any money that we make off of that album. Mm -hmm. Any money we owe, she <laughs> owes as well. That's right. Any money she owes, she owes. And <laughs> just not to belabor the gender thing, but does it change the dynamic of like now having four women like being on the road together as opposed to having the guys sort of like Hanging around. Yeah. Lots of estrogen. Well, I guess Alex is hanging around. Yeah. So. You still have a guy over there. <laughs> Alex. He's stabilized. Yeah. He's, he's so gentle. Yeah, though. he's amazing. Yeah. Do you guys so the, the energy feels really tight. Feels really um, cool. solid. and The communication in the writing process <laughs> to me has become <laughs> a lot more um, just like easy to understand each other even without words. I feel like there's a connection of just being on the same page, whereas I feel like, you know, the three of us were always really on the same page and having new people coming in all the time, trying to, like, come into this unit that had been mm -hmm. formed in this way of writing that's not very technical, you know? Yeah. Um, so it's really just... And it's, it's yeah. been very welcoming for you, I mean, to, to be now with these three people who've been playing together for a long time? Yeah, I was, I was hesitant at first, because yeah. yeah, there's always... There's always, um, you know, a technique of doing things amongst people who've known each other for a long time. And at first you're a little nervous to, to speak your mind, but they've made it very clear that, you know, it's an open field as far as ideas go. Yeah, I'll I feel like if good. Stella had played with us that first day that we all ever played together, it would have been the same feeling. Uh -huh. Where there was just a musical communication and a way of going about writing music or playing that that completely combined with everybody, you know, worked well with everyone. So mm -hmm. it's the breast connection, really. Movies box.